Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we created the two buttons in the application toolbar, one for the smart form and one for the Adobe form. Now we will proceed further. Now, whenever user will click on to this button, we will display the output in smart form. Whenever user will click on to this button, we will display the output in Adobe form. Now the question comes, whenever user will click here, it means at that time user is giving the command, user is performing the action. So at that time, which particular thing? Yes, at that time, user command will call user command. So whenever we are going for, whenever we are clicking onto the buttons, at that time, which particular thing will call user command? It is simply understand user is performing the action. User is giving the command in this case. User is giving the command for smart form. User is giving the command for Adobe form. So yes, at that time, which particular thing will call user command, user command. So we will simply, simply do that. In case of classical report, also we have same to same thing. At that time, we have the event at user command, if you remember. Same thing is applicable here also because process is same to same. So whenever user will click on to the buttons which are created, yes, through PF status, through our own GUI status. So which particular thing will call the user command. So I will simply, simply uncomment this parameter. What is the parameter? I underscore call back user command. Process is same to same. I will give some name in front of this user command. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am writing user underscore CMD. Now we will simply, simply check how SAP done the process, same way we will do, but rather than SAP name, we will replace by our own name. So I will copy same to same parameter, I underscore call back PF status set. I will double click. We will find, do not forget to choose master program. I will go to reuse ALB list display. I will go inside this function module and I will find the same to same. I will scroll down. I will double click on to the function module and you can see same to same thing. Have we provided the program name? Yes. Have we given the PS status? Yes. Now it's a turn for the user command. In front of this parameter, SAP gave this name. So we will simply search for this name. Overview underscore user underscore command. SAP created a subroutine with the same to same name. So I will copy this particular form and I will paste into my own program. Same thing we did for PF status also. Now we are doing for user command. Now I will simply, simply paste into my program. I'll just wait, I think system is slow. Okay. Now I will paste in my program. Now for every form, there is a end form. Now, rather than 
overview underscore user underscore command, we need to give what user underscore CMD. I will just write user underscore CMD. Now I will check the syntax and activate. So whenever user will click on to any of the button, which particular subroutine will call, this subroutine will call. And in between this subroutine, I will write the logic to call the smart form or the Adobe form depends upon the action. For the best understanding, I will show you in the debugging mode. I am putting a breakpoint into this subroutine. I am running the program. I gave the date. I am giving the username. Okay. Have you seen? As of now, user command has not called unless and until i will not click on to this button how user command will call if we are not going for user command user command will not call i am going for first you can see debugger started and we stopped where we stopped into this user command here i will write the logic to call what smart form. Anyways, we'll call smart form. Now the question comes. Okay, Chalo. Firstly, I will just come out. Now I'm clicking on to second button. Whenever I will click on to second button, also, which particular subroutine will call? Same to same subroutine for user command will call. Now the question comes. We are clicking on to smart form button, user command called. We clicked on to Adobe form button, still user command called. How, how we will distinguish that we need to call smart form or we need to call Adobe form because ultimately which one is calling? User command is calling. Now the important role which is covered in the previous video, which one will play a vital role? Function code will play a vital role. Function code. Just see. I will execute and show you. I am clicking on to this button. Have you seen? In between this form and end form, we have a using parameter. What is this using parameter? R underscore U call. Anyway, subroutine topic we have not covered in a back programming, but I clearly give you the idea here. We have tables parameter, using parameter, changing parameter. As of now, in this subroutine, tables and changing are not there. We have only two using parameters R underscore U com and RS underscore cell field. If I will check the value of this first using parameter, have you seen what is this smart forms? Is this the function code of your button which you gave? Yes, this is the function code of our button. So I will simply write if r underscore u form is equal to smart forms, I will call what smart form. Now I will come out and show you second. I'm clicking on to this button now. Have you seen what is the value of R underscore U com now? Adobe form. It means function code is helping us to distinguish that you clicked on to which particular button. And every system always, always understand the user action by this function code only. That's why function code is very, very important. So I will simply make two if conditions here inside this particular subroutine. I will write if r underscore u com is equal to 
what is the function code of first button smart forms do not give in small else system will not understand editor is not case sensitive but yes the string values are always case sensitive now we have the second if condition if r underscore u comp is equal to adobe forms i will check the syntax and i will activate now whenever we will create the smart form i will write the logic in between this if and and if to call that smart form anyways we need to create the smart form We'll start creation creating in the next video. Now, whenever user will click on to Adobe form, we will call the Adobe form. So firstly, we will create smart form and Adobe form and we will call here. You can understand how the integration is happening. We will independently create smart form. We will independently create Adobe form and then we will call inside our program. So, what is the summary of this particular video? Whenever you are clicking on to the buttons, yes, which you created through PF status, at that time, which particular action, which particular command, that is user command, user command. If you see, if you remember, in classical report, we have the event with same to same name, add user command. Same thing is in ALV also. So we simply uncommented the parameter I underscore callback user command. We gave some name in front of this parameter. We navigated into SAP logic. We copied the same to same subroutine into our own program and we replaced that name our by our own name because this is the name of our own our own you can see user underscore cmd and we are creating a subroutine with the same to same name now whenever we will click on to the first button yes the value of this variable is smart forms whenever we are clicking on to second button value of this variable is adobe form we are the using variable in this particular subroutine. We are using the values, yes. And what is this smart form and Adobe form? They are the function code of those buttons. In the next video, we will start with the creation of smart form and then we will call the smart form here. So that's it in this video. Thank you.